Okay, this is part two of the uh, Thomas Wave um, consolization. So it's now complete. I've hooked up the RGB SCART, as you can see. I've took the phone holes to the port on the front. Uh, these wires here, these are for the top row. I don't know what they do. I think it's in the manual, but I don't think I'll use it. I could just cut them off, keep it clean, but there's not any arm there. Um, had to put the sockets externally in the end. The reason being is the PCB inside here, inside here, which is this, this port here, goes right back here. So it was it was clashing, it was hitting, so I know it's a bit of a mess, but I had to, in the end, um, move up the control, the ports, so I mean I can get some red PVC or, to go over that or something, or a cover to go over that, it's a shame really, because I had, I had to move this one up, then I had to move this one up, so that's the reason behind that. It's only you can't see it when the controller's in. But yeah, I'll just cut to some footage of it actually running. Okay, so I've got it hooked up into my Gemma harness in the cab. I've not connected my power supply yet. So as you can see, it's running fine on the Gemma cab. But as I've also got the RGB connected as well. This is it running on the BVM. So as you can see, it's running on the BVM and it's running on the Jammer Cab. So now all I need to do is try and find some games. I haven't got any games for this yet. Um, I don't know if I go with boots or originals, I'm not really fussed really, I just want to play some games. So if anyone out there has got any games they want to sell or trade or anything, just let me know. Thanks for watching.